Hi, everybody. This is Professor Whitman. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of your upcoming final, um, the Exploring Happiness paper. So I will go ahead and dive right in. The Exploring Happiness paper is based on the 2022 World Happiness Report. Those come, These come out every single year. Uh, they're put together by the UN, and they rank 149 countries on how happy people perceive themselves to be. Um, Finland is always in the, the number one spot. And in fact, um, Nordic countries are in the top 10. Um, U.S. ranked 16 this year. We moved up three spots from 2021, probably owing to the COVID pandemic. Um, but it's just kind of an interesting look at happiness all over the world. So these are the kinds of things you're going to see inside the uh, World Happiness Report. These are the different chapters of this year's report. We're doing the 2022 report because the 2023 World Happiness Report doesn't come out until the end of March. So obviously that doesn't do us much good in this class because our class will be over by then. But you can see these are the different chapters. They vary in length. The, the uh, chapter one is really just like a five minute read, but um, the other chapters are a little weightier. And I recommend for the purposes of this assignment that you skim the whole thing, but pay a little bit more attention to chapters two and three. I think that will help um, you with the paper uh, as I'm gonna explain what you need to do here in a second. So for this paper, what I want you to do is choose a really large company and do some research on them. And the reason why I say a really large company is because they will have their employee benefits and that kind of stuff much better publicized than a smaller company. And the whole idea here with this assignment is based on what you learn in the World Happiness Report and based on what you've learned in class, you're going to identify and create, come up with some ideas for programs for employees that increase employee happiness. So it's difficult to do this if you don't know a company's um, programs that they already have in place. So that's why I say pick a large company. They tend to have more employee wellness and happiness programs, and they're usually more available online so if you're just you know doing some research. So like an Amazon or, you know, for me, it would be the University of Arizona because it's one of the largest employers in Tucson where I live. Um, find out what they do. And then again, find out those programs that they already have in place. And then go back and read that World Happiness Report, those two chapters that I, I pointed to, and find out, uncover what are the demonstrable factors that affect happiness. Now, you could ask yourself, are these different than they were pre-pandemic, um, or is it different now? Um, some people would say, you know, we've kind of had more of a shift to remote work. Some people say that's coming to an end, but you know, you can use your judgment on that and see if this is a factor for perhaps an employee um, happiness or a wellness program that you propose. So for the company you selected, you want to identify the strengths, you know, where they're doing things well, and then gaps, because gaps are where you can find the recommendations that you're going to put into your memo for this class. So you identify what, what the company is doing well in terms of those employee health and wellness and happiness, where they have gaps is where you have an opportunity. So perhaps um, a hybrid work arrangement would be something that employees want. You could include that in there, but you need to identify how that will increase employee happiness. So this has kind of got a lot of words on the screen, but I'm uh, bear with me. Um, you need to come up with a minimum of two recommendations to improve happiness uh, at this company that you've selected. You remember you're coming in, you're a consultant. Uh, the company has ostensibly hired you to, to give them you know, ideas, recommendations, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to come up with two very detailed recommendations to help them improve happiness amongst their, their employees. You're, you can be creative, but it has to be reasonable and realistic. The example I've given here on the slide is your recommendation can't be, you know, a one time a year, all employee, including their families, a trip to Tahiti. That is just not realistic. It's not going to happen. And honestly, I don't know how much that would move the happiness needle anyway, but you want to find those recommendations that you think will have a demonstrable effect on happiness, but are also feasible doable and within reach. And I want you to justify those recommendations with stuff that you found in the World Happiness Report and in the textbook and in some of the lessons from our class. 
And then I want you to estimate costs to the best of your ability estimate and, and tell me how you calculated those figures. So for example, let's just say that you were going to do gym memberships for everyone. Um, and that's $100 an employee, let's say, for annual budget. And you would then need to figure out how many employees they have at $100 a year. And how, what does that work out to as a line item on the, the budget? Now, gym membership, again, you have to, to show where that increases employee happiness. Sure, that might increase health, but say you have to, we'll have to explain in addition to estimating that cost, why that makes people happier. And as I said a minute ago, you need to explain those benefits. So if you did go with the gym membership and you said, um, we think this will make people happier, um, you would need to prove that through, you know, better health equals more contented employees. So you will need to, to explain that because this CEO is a memo. This is going to the CEO and you want to explain those bottom line benefits to them. So then you're going to put it all together. I already said CEO, you're, you're a consultant. You are putting together recommendations. You've been hired by this company that, that we you have yet to select. You will be selecting them here, you know, anytime now. Um, and then you're going to do research on them, identify those strengths and weaknesses in terms of programs they have for their employees. And then you're going to come up with recommendations, expected co estimated costs, and an explanation of the benefits. And you're going to put it all together in a memo format. Now, generally, these memos can run anywhere from three to six pages. I wouldn't think it would need to be longer than six pages. You do need to cite your sources in APA style, both in text and with a references page at the end. And I do have some resources in uh, our checklist to help you with APA style. And the link to the World Happiness Report is also in the checklist. So you can find it all there. Uh, this is due March 3rd, which is the last day of classes, by 11.59 PM in the assignment Dropbox. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Take care.